This is Bulldog Breakdown on ABC 30, sponsored by Toyota. Anticipation is building as Fresno State football starts its fall camp next Thursday. In this week's Bulldog Breakdown, with the season inching closer, sports director Stephen Hicks shows us how this year's team is perceived by the conference. Last year's Mountain West and LA Bowl champions are now just a memory. Even though we were one of four, we were coming out of practice like still ready to go, still believing that no matter what, we had a shot, um, regardless of what anyone else was saying about us. There's that line often said in football. Regardless of what anyone else was saying about us. Focus on yourself and block out the noise. But at this year's Mountain West Media Days, we couldn't help but find some of that noise asking players and coaches what they thought of the Bulldogs. I'm interested to see how, how Fresno does just because it is really tough to, to come off a winning season. Honestly, it might be harder than coming off a losing season. Then there's the rivals. Feels a little bit different when we play them. Feels like there's a little bit more on the line. It's crazy. It is crazy. And walking down that hill is legit. The fans are harsh, but in the best way possible. We know what that looks like every single time we travel there to play a game. We know the challenge that comes with that. We know the preparation that it's going to take, both mentally and physically. And to be honest, the focus that it's going to take in that stadium, too. Walking through there, it's like you feel like you're, you're getting yelled at, you're getting talked out, you can, you know, people talking mess and everything. It's always a good game against them. Um, I mean, they always bring it. It's just a good environment, like definitely a great home field environment. The turf, the walking down there, you know, all the fans around you, they score, the lights go off. I was yelling at Derek Carr on the sideline, seeing if he could see me. And one of the other safeties were yelling at him, he turned, so it was, it was cool to see him. It was cool for the Red Wave to see a game that featured 15 points in 13 seconds. It wasn't a blur for me. And I'm sure it wasn't for them. The fan turnout was great. You know, people started leaving during that fourth quarter and then coming back down, y'all stormed down the field and it was electric with only half the fans you probably had remaining. One thing that that game does, not only fight for a trophy with the rivalry, but it's going to have implications on the Mountain West Championship. Um, whoever wins is going to have a, a little bit better chance of making it to that championship game. The goal for the Bulldogs, they say, is to get back to the title game. Definitely Mountain West Championship again, and I want to go to a New Year's Six this time. So I want to be that top group of five school coming out the Mountain West. And when asked what the best part was about being a Fresno State Bulldog, both Lavelle Bailey and Eric Brooks had the same answer. I mean, you look at it and it's like, wow, like our fans really show out wherever we are. The communities behind you, the family, the Red Wave, uh, like I said, it's really family oriented. For Bulldog Breakdown, Stephen Hicks, ABC 30 Action News.